This is going to be the first of a few videos I create on this topic. Um, we're going to cover a couple different types of polynomials and how to factor them. But this first video is going to go over the basics of how to factor a trinomial in the form ax squared plus bx plus c when a is equal to 1. And now there's a lot of letters over here, so I kind of want to go through and show you what I'm talking about. So you can see that this is 1x squared plus 3x plus 2. So you can see that a, the number in front of x squared, would be 1. B, the number in front of X would be 3, and C would be 2. Similarly down here, A would be 1, B would be negative 5, and C would be negative 6. Now we'll get to one, this one down here because it doesn't look like it's in this form. It looks like A might be 2, but we'll get there. So let's start with this first one, A. To be able to factor a quadratic like this, we're going to learn a process called short key factoring. And how we do short key factoring is you multiply the number out in front, which is always going to be 1 in this case, by a number at the back, which is 2. So our key number for this one is going to be 2. And now what we're going to do is we're going to look for factors of that key number that add to your middle term. So it's going to be pretty straightforward to look for factors of 2. Um, so it's part of the reason I picked this one. But the factors of 2 are going to be 2 times 1. And we also have to remember there's another set of factors. We can have negative 2 times negative 1, right? Both of those, you can see that 2 times 1 multiply up to 2. And negative 2 times negative 1 equal or multiply up to positive 2 as well. Now, we want to look for factors that add to our middle term 3. So take a look. What is 2 plus 1? We know 2 plus 1 is 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. And we know that negative 2 plus negative 1, negative 2 plus negative 1 is equal to negative 3. So the factors that are going to add to our middle term are going to be these two right here, 2 and 1. So now that we have our factors, we're pretty much done here. Our last step is to go ahead and we know that when we factor a polynomial, this is going to look like it's going to be in the form. And we know an x is going to come in the first term, so we're going to have an x here. And now you see those two factors that we found, this 2 and 1. What are the signs in front of those? This is a positive 2. And this is a positive 1. And that's your final answer. You've got that factor. This is going to factor into x plus 2 and x plus 1. How can you tell if you did this problem right? Well, just take it over here and go ahead and foil it out. I'm going to take x plus 2 and x plus 1, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to foil this. So x times x is x squared. x times 1 is a positive 1x. 2 times x is a positive 2x and 2 times 1 is positive 2. And now we can combine those middle terms, right? And this is going to be x squared plus 3x plus 2. You see, we're just going backwards from factoring. We learned how to FOIL last week, right? We learned how to take stuff like this and get it in this form. Now we're learning how to take stuff that's all FOILed out and get it back into its nice factors. So let's go ahead and clean up some of that stuff and take a look at another one of these problems. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one, B, right here. So again, we're going to start by multiplying the number out front, which is 1, by the number at the end, which is negative 6. So our key is negative 6. And again, we want to find factors of negative 6 that add to our middle term. So in step 2, we're looking at factors of our key that add to b. b is negative 5. So let's, let's list the, cap, the factors of 6. Well, we're going to have negative 6 and 1, or 6 and negative 1. We also have negative 3 and 2, or 3 times negative 2. And which one of these add up to negative 5? Well, let's go through and check. Negative 6 plus 1, that's going to be negative 5. We found it right there. It's this first list right here. 
Again, to see the other ones, 6 and negative 1 would be positive 5. Negative 3 and 2 is negative 1. 3 and negative 2 would be a positive 1. So we know it's going to be negative 6 and 1. Those factors will be the second term in each of the binomials. So let's go ahead and open up our parentheses. We're going to have a P here in the first term. And then take a look at the signs. This first one is going to be a negative 6, so we're going to put a minus 6. And then the second term is going to be a positive 1, so we're going to put a plus 1 there. And that's our final answer right there, is going to be P minus 6, P plus 1. You can go ahead and FOIL that out and check to make sure it works. In this next one, let's go ahead and take a look. This one does not look like it would be a quick key problem, right? You see you got a 2 out in front here, and we can only use this short key method when A is equal to 1. So what do we do? Well, I'm going to add a step up here in red because this is something that I probably should have had. We'll have it at step, uh, what can we call it, 0 0.5. We'll add that right here. And we, what, what we want to do here is you're always going to want to look and see if you have a GCF. Um, we're going to learn another process in the next vid video called long key, and that's what you're going to do when you have a number out in front here. But take a look. Is there a greatest common factor between 2, 12, and negative 14? Yeah, they all have a 2 in common, right? So you're going to start this problem. If you can take a GCF out, go ahead and do that. That's like dividing each of these terms all by 2, right? 2y squared divided by 2y is just, we're going to have a y squared. 12 divided by 2 is a positive 6y. Then negative 14 divided by 2 is minus 7. And take a look here. Now you see we can work and factor this polynomial, and this one we can use quick key for. So you multiply the number out front, 1, by negative 7. 1 times negative 7, our key number is going to be, our key will be negative 7. So there's our first step over here is to multiply a by c to get our key number. Look for the factors of your key number that add to b. So what are the, the factors of negative 7? Well, we have negative 7 and 1, or 7 and negative 1. Now, in this video, we didn't have very many factors, but you're going to see a lot of times there's going to be a huge list. Make sure you watch the video about using the graphing calculator to find the list of factors, because sometimes you're going to have maybe six or seven or eight different factors here. So look what these add to. Negative 7 plus 1 equal negative 6, and 7 plus negative 1 is equal to positive 6. So the factors we're going to want to use are going to be 7 and negative 1. So what we're going to do here is, again, you bring your 2 out front. That's not going anywhere. That's going to stay out front. We're going to open our parentheses. We're going to have a y in the first term. Take a look over here at our factors, and we have a, a 7. So this is going to be a plus 7. And over here is a minus 1, so the second term is going to be a negative 1. So there's three examples of this. Be sure to do a lot of practice on this stuff.